And back here at home, investigators are still trying to figure out what sparks an overnight fire at a popular Raleigh restaurant. We first showed you this video from Sushi 9 on Western Boulevard on WNCN Today. And since then, WNCN Steve Sprasia has been talking with investigators and employees about the trouble they're now dealing with. He's live there tonight with the latest. Steve. Well, Sharon, as you can see behind me, there was a chain link fence around an empty parking lot, a parking lot which should be full right now with customers. As you indicated, a very popular restaurant with NC State students. But early this morning, this thing was gutted by flames, and the owner is saying they he will rebuild. This was the scene when firefighters pulled up. The first arriving unit got here. They notified that the fire was coming through the roof and therefore we are not going to commit any firefighters on the inside. They wanted to surround and drown the fire, but power lines along Western Boulevard made it hard to get aerial units in place. But that delayed us in getting to the aspect of really getting the fire under control. It was a lot of fire once we got here. The deputy says it took three hydrants to get enough water to fight the flames. Based on the extent of the fire, when they arrived, the deputy believes the flames have been active a long time before firefighters were called at 420. Hours later, firefighters were still dousing hot spots as stunned employees tried to comprehend what had happened. I was in shock. I didn't have any words for it, dude. I couldn't, I don't, I didn't know what to say. It still hasn't even sunk in. After firefighters cleared the scene, insurance adjusters and a fire reclamation company went to work boarding up the gutted building while one of the owners looked ahead, promising to rise like a phoenix from the ashes of destruction. God willing, we will uh, reopen and we will rebuild. And God willing, you have to be positive. And he tells me that the employees here are more like friends than workers, and he hopes that they all get by in the interim until this place can reopen. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, WNCN News Now.